Well, El Paso County Sheriff Bill Elder calling attention to a new bill passed by state lawmakers that would reduce criminal penalties for drug possession. News 5's Andy Cohen in studio, and this will mean more inmates at the county level in the jail there, Andy. That's right, Rob. House Bill 1263 reduces certain drug possession convictions from a felony offense, typically a prison sentence there, down to a misdemeanor where the maximum penalty is a 180-day sentence to county jail. Take that for over a year. $6,457,000. In a video post on social media, Sheriff Bill Elder explains how lowering the penalty for drug possession will send a greater number of inmates to county jails instead of state prisons. We're talking probably to El Paso County alone, $1.5 to $2 million a year. Um, and then we're talking about statewide at the county level, we're looking at about $24 million in unfunded mandates that the county jails will now have to to do. That's based on a three-year estimate. The bill's sponsor told his colleagues in the legislature that drug addicts need rehab, not prison, and his bill does that by giving counties millions more for those programs. The uh, jail-based behavioral health services from Human Services is budgeted for some $12 million. There's additional money from the Correctional Treatment Cash Fund of $24 million and Offender Treatment Services $18 million goes into the local communities. Despite the money that Senator Lee says will be spent on treatment, the sheriff's office still worries the bill could lead to more crime because drug offenders will be released quicker and the impulse to get high could drive many to steal. They're um, perpetrating crimes on other citizens so that they can get that fix. House Bill 1263, as we said, passed a final vote in the Senate on May the 3rd, but it is awaiting for the governor's signature. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy.